guys. A few months ago I did a video about my absolute favorite Disney songs and it was really hard. This, depending on how you look at it, may or may not have been as hard. Or harder. Or less hard. I don't know. But anyway, now I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> Everything great, there's always a flip side to it and Disney songs are no exception. So I thought it would be fun to talk about what, in my opinion, are the 10 worst Disney songs. I'm only taking pretty much one song from one movie, otherwise this would just be all full of movies I'll get to later. <laughs> And I'm only taking from Disney animation and from musicals. Some animated movies have songs featured in them, like Immortals from Big Hero 6. That does not count. This, uh, these are from musicals. Also, this list is completely subjective. I want to make that clear. Music, I think, is one of the most taste-driven art forms. It, it's just so subjective, so... Do not take this as me saying these are the worst ever. They're just the worst for me. So let's get to it, shall we? Number 10 is One Last Hope from Hercules. I think the whole soundtrack to Hercules is super underrated and for the most part really fun and really fantastic. It, this song though just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. It's catchy and it's fun and it really does get in my head a lot. But Danny DeVito is not the strongest singer. Number nine is The Virginia Company and the reprise from Pocahontas. For the most part, Pocahontas has a beautiful soundtrack. I really do enjoy most of the songs. I almost put Mine, Mine, Mine on here because John Smith sings in it. But that song's pretty catchy, so dang it. The Virginia Company is just... Yeah. I think it's trying really hard to be Fathoms Below from The Little Mermaid. It's kind of in that same vein. Also kind of reminds me of Frozen Heart from Frozen. But both of those songs are actually kind of catchy. This song is... It just feels so blah. What? What? You say hi to Louie. You, what are you doing? You're ruining my video, buddy. Number eight is A Guy Like You from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I hope you guys really, really understand how much I freaking love the soundtrack of Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's one of my favorites of all of the Disney soundtracks. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's Alan Menken's best work musically. I think it's just wonderful. However, who thought it was a good idea to give the Gargoyles a song? The Gargoyles are easily the worst part of Hunchback. So why did you give them a song? And it's, it doesn't fit at all with any of the other songs and it's really kind of annoying and uh, why do those gargoyles have to exist man number seven is once upon a time in new york city from oliver and company this song i think is definitely one of those songs where if you like that really cheesy dated 80s sound you'll like this song and if you don't oh my god you would freaking freaking hate it like me <laughs> this song i don't think it's terrible but it is so dated for every why should i worry which is i swear the earwormiest of all earworms you have once upon a time in new york city and yes i'm aware that howard freaking ashman wrote helped write the lyrics but he, I'm assuming he didn't write the music or the arrangement, so I'll forgive him. Number six is Colonel Hathi's March from The Jungle Book. This one kind of falls into the same The Virginia Company kind of thing. It's just kind of blah. It, there's a lot, there's much, much better songs in The Jungle Book. 
and it 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 just doesn't stack up very well against a lot of the Disney songs. It's not terrible, but it's also just kind of annoying and really, really, really not needed. Number five is Best of Friends from The Fox and the Hound. I know people are gonna hate me on this one, and I apologize. I know so many people that love The Fox and the Hound, and I'm just not one of them. I thought it had some good parts, and I also thought it had some bad parts, and one of those bad parts was the songs. They were awful. They weren't particularly written well, nor were they particularly performed well. The lady's voice, it just kind of grated on my ears. I know, I, I know, I'm so sorry. I know so many of you love this song, but I just can't. I cannot with this song. It really, really grated on my ears. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Number four is Oodalali from Robin Hood. I'm just kind of putting this here as like a catch-all for kind of all of the songs in Robin Hood. This song, kind of like the Once Upon a Time in New York City song, is very taste driven. If you like this kind of music, you'll probably like the songs in Robin Hood. I personally don't. Oodalali and freaking Whistle Stop, I, I just, they're not, I, I just, I can't get into them. They're not my taste. And because of Whistle Stop, we got one of the most dumb memes ever. That dumb hyper frog thing, whatever it's called. Ugh. <laughs> Number three is Bluddle Uddle Um Dum, the washing song from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In the Disney pantheon, there's quite a few just really kind of funny songs that really don't do anything except try to be funny. Sometimes they work, like Le Poisson from The Little Mermaid. I love that song. Plus, it's Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, and they're like, Mwah. But that song's funny, and it doesn't need to be there, but it's cute. This song, no. Most of the songs involving the dwarfs I find really charming, really cute, except for this one. Mostly just sound effects and mouth noises, it's not even singing, and it's, it's just dumb. Number two is Scumps, the drinking song from Sleeping Beauty. This is much in the same vein as the previous song. Comparing it to the rest of the songs in Sleeping Beauty, it is vastly inferior. Most of the songs in Sleeping Beauty are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then there's this one. And second of all, what the fudge is a scump? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments what a scump is. What are scumps? What is this song? Why is it here? <laughs> but before we get to uh, my least favorite song in the Disney Pantheon, I thought I'd give some dishonorable mentions. First we have Daughters of Triton from The Little Mermaid. I'm only putting this here because the song itself is kind of cute, except it's, it's not even a song. It's less than a minute and it doesn't even finish, and that really bothers me. Next is everything from Alice in Wonderland. Aside from What made the red man red slash the Siamese cat song? Yeah, those exist. <laughs> Musically, they're not bad. In fact, they're actually kind of catchy, but yeah, they're unfortunate. But, you know. Let's move on. My least favorite thing song musically from Disney has to be everything from Home on the Range. I couldn't pick just one because they're all... Ugh. Okay, first of all, country is probably one of my least favorite genres of music. If you love country, you might like some of these songs. 
from Home on the Range. I know some people do, and that's great. I don't. And even if I did, that yodeling song, what is that? Why, Disney? Who thought that was a good idea? Just any of that. Well, there you guys have it. I'm thoroughly depressed now. Leave in the comments what you think are some of the worst Disney songs. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and Snapchat, and Instagram, and all those great things. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye! Like, seriously. Seriously, what, what are scumps? I really, genuinely want to know. First off, we have the main character, founding father without a father, Alexander Hamilton. He's actually a little tough for me because for me he can be put easily into three houses. For one, he's very smart and very intelligent and very quick-witted, so that could put him in Ravenclaw. Two,